Hello. I wanted to share a story with you from 12 years ago that I thought was I thought was funny and ironic and just showed how we can change over time. And I ran it by a friend to see, gosh, is this would this be okay to share because you know, it doesn't really put me in the best light as of 12 years ago. And he's like, oh yeah, that's a funny story, or that, that's a good story. So anyway, 12 years ago, I had a, a new home, I don't know, maybe a, for like a year, a new family, newly married recently, and, um, and we lived in a middle class, working class neighborhood. Decent homes, but nothing ritzy. Just, you know, a nice middle-class neighborhood and um, one day I came home from work and there was a minivan parked kind of not directly in front of my front door but off to the side close to the edge of my property you know but on the street and so the next day it was there and they had spent the night and so I went to the neighbor's house and I was like do you know who these people are and she's like oh yeah I, I met them at a a club or something like that. I met them somewhere and they just needed a place to crash for a while and they're just gonna sleep out here and they're gonna take showers and go to the bathroom in my place. And it was just a young couple in their 20s. And I was just not okay with that. Like, no way, not in front of my house. So I called the cops and uh, asked them, what do I do? And they said, well, and this was back before the laws changed. Now it's 24 hours, but then it was 72 hours, and uh, they said, "Well, if they move, if they move at any time in the 72 hours, the time starts over. So you have to wait until they've been parked in one spot for 72 hours." Oh, the good old days before I was living this life. So I was like, "Well, crap! What am I supposed to do? I can't leave them there, even though they were doing nothing. They just had their window, their their driver's their, their driver side window down part way um, to let some air flow through." And they were literally just sleeping in there, and, and they didn't really move. They stayed there all day. So I don't know. Maybe they were hanging out in the neighbor's house. But anyway, so I came up with the grand idea that, well, I can't make them leave, but I can make it uncomfortable. So the next morning, I took my leaf blower out, and I didn't blow it in their window or blow it on their vehicle, but I stood right on the edge of my property, which was like maybe four feet from their window, and I just ran the leaf blower at 7 in the morning for like 10 minutes. And I was like, okay. And so then I went back inside, didn't say anything. Next day, they spent all day the next day there. They didn't move. So the next morning, went out, did it for 15 minutes. Just sat there. And I, man, by this time, I was like, okay, they better leave. I was freaking out like they were some kind of criminals or something. They were just a young couple traveling the country, who knows, like I didn't get a chance, I didn't take the time to even get to know them or know who they were. I was in a different place. And so, still didn't move, the third morning I went out there, leaf blowed for 15 minutes right beside their vehicle, and then they left. Or they, they were there all day, and they, they were even there at night. And I was like, okay, in the morning I can call the cops, it's been three days, and they left that next morning after three days of leaf blowing and they never came back. Um, and I look at that and I, I look at the old me and say, wow, I was that afraid of two young people living in a minivan, that they were gonna do something to my house with locks and windows and protections and you know all that sort of stuff. So it's really, really crazy to think about. Like, I basically called the cops on my on my future self back then like I would have done it if I would have showed up from the future doing that I would have called the cops now realistically I would never stay in front of a house for three days and not move my vehicle it just wouldn't happen like I I get there after dark and I leave in the first thing in the morning like it would just not happen and I wouldn't just stay there night after night especially after the first time the leaf blower thing I would have been out of there, but they weren't, and it was a different time. It was before the recession, when everyone still had their, their cheap homes. So, it's just an interesting story. Like, 
And I know what you're going to say, and I'll say it before you see say it. Karma's a bitch. You get back what you gave, right? So, yeah, I'm not going to argue with that. I was, a, I was a real jerk to that young couple just traveling around the country or whatever their situation was. I never took the time to find out. And so I've gotten the cops called on me. I can totally agree with that. But that's where I was, and it just shows how we can change. And, like, the 12-year, like, if I'd have met my future self, I watched the movie Looper. I don't know if you guys watched Looper. It has Bruce Willis in it. It's a little bit older movie, but it's about time travel and where he meets his old, his, Bruce Willis meets his younger self at when he's like 60 or something. And if I was this, that got me thinking about this whole topic. That's why I'm talking about it. But what would I, what would I say now to my younger self 12 years ago? And would my younger self listen at all? Like, I don't think I would have. I would have been like, that guy's freaking crazy. He's not me. He's insane. I would never be like that. I have a good corporate job, a good corporate IT job. I'm making um, 60000 a year. I would never li be living in a minivan. Are you, what would, I, on purpose, I want to do this? I want to live without a bunch of stuff and just have a few clothes? I would have believed it. So, I guess you just can't, you know, I, you couldn't, I couldn't teach my younger self, and I don't know if anybody could. You have to live life and experience it as you go, and then you make those incremental changes to be a different person. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the story and you're not too rough on me. Um, I just thought it was ironic when I really thought about it, of what I, what I did and, and how I live now. Bye, everybody.